Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. So I know you like the renders. You want to see something new like how you can render for example the environment. So in this tutorial we are starting how we can render the environment. Uh, previous environment uh, as you can see right on your screen I have finished already in Lumen so and but now I will start it to do it in Twin Motion but later on I will do it in in Lumen too so you will see how we can get the typical um, the environment as you can see right on your screen on two programs in Lumion and in Twinmotion. I can say the differences will be not so dramatically but anyway you will see the difference between the programs in same sense so after that you will get the complete uh, vision how and which the program you should use. Okay if you are interesting let's start this series. As I said, this is a long time series and as you can see right now I'm showing you what I have been done in Lumen. Actually now you can see only the like the sun right here is nothing much. But if you will go to the photo mode already I have like existing uh, some photos here like a lot a lot a lot different photos. So all these things I'll show you how I did that, how I exporting, uh, what I'm doing. If you are interesting, leave the comments below, and I will do the different um, different tutorial how you can do that in Lumen. But uh, especially today we will start from the scratch, uh, not from the zero, right? Because I understand it's sometimes you know, so boring to watch it. We will start from the uh, like model. Uh, so if I will go back to the my Revit, you will see this is my model. It's not finished yet. It's under the finish, but some of the parts I already have finished. So and we will start from this project. So the first tutorial it's about the Revit file. The second tutorial will be about how to export and render it. So let's get started. So and if we will back to the, our model, let's see what we have here right now. Uh, we have a lot of ways how we can create, for example, our environment, especially like asphalt, like pathways uh, or the grass. Really, a lot of way you can use. For example, if you will go to the mass inside, you will find here the top surface. Okay, you can use the top surface. This is first way. You can use the, if you will go architecture. You can use even the floor. Uh, of course, uh, in the some situation, floor will be better way than uh, we, you will use, for example, top of surface. Uh, I not will uh, go deep inside the mm, uh, technology how it's working. Uh, I mean, the, what's the difference between the top of surface and the floor? For example, when you're working with the uh, height, as you can see here. Uh, but I, I just say uh, use whatever uh, you want, but just keep in mind you should understand uh, this tool like on the hundred percent. I have a really big, uh, big the area as you can see. This is around like one one kilometer so it's like the um, half mile maybe I don't know because uh, like uh, most people watching me and they don't know the metric system they know imperial system so maybe I should switch on uh, or uh, duplicate the uh, data to the imperial system anyway uh, as you can see here I'm using the floor if I will check if I will click on that on this road you will see this is floor why I choose the floor, I said already before, uh, this is long term topic and maybe later on I will write on my own website and I will share with you why I'm using that. But for now this is better way for me. Okay, anyway, as you can see, here I'm using the wall, the stairs and of course the, the main thing for the lumen uh, you should separate different materials. For example, here is the grass. And of course I'm using the grass and here is the pathway I'm using the road here again the grass I'm using the grass uh, why it's the uh, why it's uh, important for the lumen lumen separating your geometry by your material so if you have different for example geometry like let's say here right here it's road as you can see and here is road but for lumen it will be one material because they using the same type so you should keep uh, always on your mind uh, keep about the material uh, if you wanna separate material for example you wanna here use the tile 
and here you want to use for example uh, the asphalt you should make different material inside in Revit so if you not will do that you will get the problem when you will try to export it okay this is just uh, the like small topic uh, today is introduction to this uh, huge tutorial because I understand some of the people wanna learn Dynamo and some wanna people wanna uh, make the nice renders and whatever okay so what else if you will check the my floor, you will see I have the, a lot of the dots. Actually, it's really easy how to create this uh, different size. So let's go to the left view. And as you can see, I have the difference level. Uh, now you will see. So here is the uh, zero and here is minus three meter. So can you imagine? Because it's huge project and that's why you cannot see properly the difference between uh, one and second one. Actually, you can see, but uh, its slopes looks like it's uh, like really uh, not so huge. But it's it's it is. This is three meter. So well, it's like this. Okay. So how I'm controlling it? Actually, especially it's really really. Uh, I not say this is really easy, but I'll say this is not so hard. Let's say on this uh, on this side. Uh, I know that corner should be be the same uh, same um, size like I have like this road. I'm going just to the modify and just select this dot and I just drag it and automatically Revit will connect with uh, the road Ta -da! yeah I have the warning but I'm okay with that because it's about the shape and this one I want to make like minus uh, 1000 millimeter or something else so you just should be try of course you will get triangulation you always will get triangulation but anyway as I said I'm not using the topo surface in topo surface you have the uh, other problems uh, so as I said uh, it's not a right way in Revit a Revit it's only about uh, situations so in different situation you will use different uh, tools so it's only up to you and don't forget about also one thing in Revit you don't have the word this is not right and this is right so in Revit everything right and everything wrong so the expert in Revit will say the same thing Okay, so as you can see, I just connecting with that one, and as you can see, I'm getting the right uh, now right connection here. Uh, but you can see, I ha I ha get here the triangulation, so this is what I don't like, right? Or maybe sometimes it's uh, making like this situation, so this is not good. For that situation, you should use the add split spline. Let's use the add split spline, and let's connect this dot with that dot, and you will see now we get more nice result and you just should continue where you wanna do that thing for example here i have a lot of the lines going inside to this uh, corner so i will do like this and you will see i get more better result maybe i wanna connect this dot with that line and i will get more better result and maybe i wanna connect this dot just use the top key to connect with the end point and for example here and I will get uh, here the smooth triangulation. So everything in Revit is possible. As you can see, we get more uh, more clear smooth. Uh, and here you can make it to, for example, maybe I want uh, one split line here. Who knows? Let's check it out. Yeah, it's much better as you can see. So like this in Revit, uh, you can create your slopes. So till uh, just continue with that. This is really simple. Continue with all, all, all of that. I I will do it uh, not on the uh, on the video because it will take long time. I will switch now to the staircase because staircase this is main and huge topic in uh, Revit and this is pretty simple. Yes, as I said, this is pretty simple. So, uh, to create the uh, um, staircase, you have again a lot of the way, but we will choose one of them. I will go to the side view, yes, better to uh, just place your um, staircase, use the side view. And here should be my uh, staircase. Okay, so I will use the just... Uh, just simple staircase and I'll place it like this, it doesn't matter how many stairs I will use. Okay, now let's go to 3D view and let's find our staircase. It's here, okay. So I know here is around minus 3 meters, so our base offset should be, be minus 3 meter. Let's make the minus 3 meter and ta ta voila we now on the place. But our top side it's not on the right 
uh, on the right thing so let's uh, increase like 50 uh, stairs uh, we will do that 50 it's not enough maybe 52 it will be pretty enough yeah it should be and let's connect our staircase to here like that like this way so it doesn't matter you know no, no need to be so accurate for now and, and now I can see so 52 it's not enough let's make like 54 it should be no even 56 will be not enough I think yeah 56 this is what we want okay so and now we can uh, can convert convert uh, our staircase you can do that only in uh, you can do that it's only in uh, flat mode I mean on the side plan go to the side plan or go to the some floor plan now convert your staircase you not will see any changes but you will see here edit sketch click on that and now we can uh, now we can draw our staircase I will straight away delete this line and I will use the razor uh, and I will use the pick the line and let's pick this line. Okay, so this is this will be my razor I will delete these boundaries. I will click on the boundaries and now I will use the pick the line and this one will be my boundaries Let's do that. So this is my new boundaries. Let's use the TR mod So this is like a trim and let's trim it. So you should trim it of course and let's trim this one and that one Okay, so awesome. We have the boundaries Let's use the align because I want to align this dot to this dot and now we should extend these all stairs So for that one I will use trim and extend I will choose this line and I will extend everything till this line I say this one till this line Okay Okay, let's continue that one and Let's say only to this line. I will I will tell you why Okay, let's do that again. I want to till this one all of that lines. Okay, so here is everything correct But here as you can see we have the angle. Let's make this angle I will use the riser and I will make this some like simple angle Like that one like that one. Let's make it a bit smaller Okay, and let's make it a bit smaller. Of course, you should do manually because this all, uh, this all the this the staircase actually this like uh, custom and special edition, let's say, and that's why you cannot make it so just as it is. Okay, I will do like this. I know this may be something wrong, but it's okay. I will leave it and I'll say okay. So your server is finished. Let's say okay and let's go back to the 3D view. Oh, I no need to uh, use the ha uh, handrail. Let's go to 3D and here your staircase. As you can see, we spent like few minutes to get staircase. Of course, this line not going, not should shouldn't go to inside like you see right now. So we can change it inside in the stair. So I will go again to the side plan. I will choose my stair. I will use the edit mode. I will go now to the 3D because under 3D you can do that. And now you can use manipulate with that. And I will use the align mode. Let's align. Let's align. So everything is align under align. So it should be, be everything correct. Let's say OK. And now after that, of course, you can join everything what you want. So let's join it. And you not will get. Uh, we should switch. So let's switch it. We cannot join right now. Maybe I will do do it later on. So, but uh, if you don't like this line, you can push it uh, on that side, or you can do that trick away with your boundary like this. You can even make like that. So it's also not the bad uh, solution, but you will solve your problem more faster like this and just delete this line let's say okay let's say okay and now we will get the result so as you can see i spent not long time to get the staircase here uh and uh, like last thing i'll show you how you can uh oh so this <laughs> this really for you can do the fast cutting just edit profile mm, let's edit profile let's make here the some angle i will do angle from this side to that side like this and I'll connect it because uh, actually the my wall is too big. So yeah, this is what I want. Let's edit. Let's use the airline. Let's my airline. Let's use this surface to that one. Let's say remove constraint. Let's say connect and let's say okay. So here's what I got. 
So here I have the problem. Let's go to the edit. Let's use the align and let's align it or let's make it a bit smaller and a bit different angle. And as a bonus, I know guys, uh, so this, I, I mean, today is finished, but as a bonus, uh, we won't see how it will be looks like in, uh, for example, in some render engine, right? So as I said, we will uh, make this tutorial, right? This tutorial we will do Twin Motion, my Twin Motion is already on, and I will just see, uh, click on the C Twin Motion. Let's go back to Twin Motion, and you, now you will see your model inside Twin Motion. Let's see our staircase, so it looks not so bad. So, and as you can see, you can uh, easily manipulate and sending your model. Of course, in Lumen, you can do the same thing. So, as I said, in Lumen, we will do later on too. So, we will get this model in two different programs, in Lumen and in Twinmotion. But now, most things, as you can see here, we did our uh, grass. And as you can see, it's not so bad. It's not looks so bad, as you can see. We don't have a lot of the triangulation, so you just uh, here we have the tri triangulation because I didn't re uh, resolve this problem. But once you will solve this problem, you will get a result like you can see see, see here. After when you will apply here the grass, you will see, you will get like real real nice result. So guys, if you are interesting of this uh, this huge tutorial, what I'm planning to start, uh, don't forget about the likes, comments, and share. If you not interesting of that, also let me know about that and the same me what you wanna see in the next tutorials, and I will try to make best for you guys. Uh, so for today, finish and see you soon. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.